You did it. You made it through the end of a very long learning sequence. We did microscopic pictures of light in a dielectric, and we did Fresnel equations for what happens at the interface. Very tricky stuff. Since you got all the way to the end, now you get to see my favorite demonstration of all time. So I was teaching this class on campus a few years ago, and I talked about light in a dielectric and how there's very little loss. The light basically goes straight through. And afterwards, I always get a few questions from students, this and that. And one student was kind of waiting his turn, waiting for everybody else to leave. You know, finally, everybody else is gone. And he kind of comes up and says, Professor Hafner, um, if light goes through a dielectric and our clothes are dielectrics, why can't we see through our clothes? And I said, OK, two steps back. I said, uh, I said I'll give you a demo about that later. I said, I'll, I'll demo that next time. So I had to come up with a demo to explain why we can't see through clothes because I really wanted people thinking about the physics. Whatever. So what I came up with is I went and I bought this. This is a Ken doll that I have stripped naked and covered with glass wool. And I hope that this is a testament to my dedication to education because I, a grown man of 40 something, went to Toys R Us and bought a Ken doll. And usually you buy something kind of embarrassing at the drugstore, well, you also get some deodorant and some cookies and a birthday car and it doesn't seem so bad. There was nothing else for me to buy at Toys R Us. I basically walked up to the cash register with a Ken doll and just paid for it and got out of there. So it was rough. Anyway, now I'm in possession of a Ken doll, a naked Ken doll, and I have covered him in some clothing, which is glass wool. So he is covered only in glass, okay? There's no absorption in this glass, yet you can't see through his clothes. So let's figure out what is going on. So if you think about, so here's the thing, the person that you don't want to see, and here's the clothes, right? And if we zoom in on the clothes, clothes are made up of a lot of little fibers. Right? So if we were to look in cross-section, zoom in, we would see fiber here, and a fiber in cross-section there, and a fiber here, and fibers going everywhere, usually cotton fibers, maybe nylon fibers, some kind of fiber. So, why can't we see through it? There's actually two reasons. One is that some of these fibers do absorb light. My shirt is blue, and my shirt is blue because the fibers, the cotton fibers on my shirt are covered with a dye that absorbs in the red. The red light is absorbed, and only the blue light comes back at you. So it's not true that all the light would just go right through, even though it's a dielectric. Now you could say, well, if the blue light doesn't get absorbed, why can't we see through your clothes in blue light? Well, we don't want that to happen. So the second reason is all the reflection that we've been talking about. Light reflects at uh, a dielectric interface. And your clothes are woven out of fibers that have a different index of refraction from the air. So as the light comes through your clothes, it bounces and reflects off all these fibers in all kinds of random different ways, thousands and thousands of fiber services. The image information that would come from your body is sort of embedded in the phase and the amplitudes of the light waves that would reflect off your body. That image information is completely scrambled as the light makes its way through all these little dielectric fibers. And that's what's happening with Ken. Light is hitting Ken's naked body, and it is that all that light is getting out. None of it's being absorbed by the glass, but by the time it gets out and gets to your eye, it's completely scrambled, and in fact, the image information is that of the fibers. It's no longer that of Ken's body, okay? So you can't see through dielectric clothing because it's a very complex medium with lots of air dielectric interfaces woven into it. To prove that to you, what we can do is get rid of the air dielectric interfaces. So I'm going to take Ken and his glass wool clothing and I'm going to put him in an oil bath that will index match all of his glass wool clothing and then all the interfaces are gone. Optically, it's just a uniform medium and Light will go straight through, just like that student was worried it might. So here is a little container of mineral oil, which is a pretty good match for glass, and we'll stick Ken in. Here we go. You can see he's got his clothes on, and there you go. Clothes are gone. And now you know why we can see through. We can't see through clothes is because of all the scattering, and that we don't have an index match. So now let's get back to the physics.